their first puppy play school tonight. Yeah, you know I'm talking about you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Mr. Cree? Yeah, you got your first school tonight, don't you? You excited, buddy? <laughs> His class is from a 5 to 6, but unfortunately the sun's setting around 5.30. I'm going to head out soon after, and I'm going to be hunting with the 20 GPC using the 32 grain VMAX. I've got zipping at about 4,000 FPS out of my 20 GPC. Uh, I've got my Pulsar Axion XM30, of course, and I've only got this Pulsar Thermion XP50 for about another week, so I'm really going to try to call in a coyote. So my plan is, is I've traditionally been hunting between basically sunset um, till about midnight, but since he's got puppy play school, it's going to, it's actually a teaching school too, it's going to wipe him out. So my plan is, is to get him entertained, get him worn out, and then I'm going to head out into the field. I'm probably going to be out there from about 8 o'clock until 2. I'm going to push six hours tonight because um, his bladder is right around eight hours. So that'll give me some time to get back if I do get a hog on the ground. So hopefully we'll get something on the ground. And if not, we'll try to call in a coyote with the 20 GPC using this awesome Pulsar XP50. I got to the property around 8.30 p.m. and for some reason the Pulsar Thermion XP50 did not capture any audio even though I double checked to make sure that the microphone was turned on. As soon as I booted up the thermal, I spotted a raccoon at just under 400 yards. What's interesting in comparison is the Pulsar Thermion XP50 at four times digital zoom is a clearer image than the Pulsar Axiom XM30 at four times native zoom at this extended range. As I said in a previous video, some nights it's like Animal Kingdom on this property. At 9.30 p.m. I spotted a hog on an adjacent property over 300 yards away. Eight times digital zoom is very pixelated at this extended range. I didn't even try to move on this hog because the area he was traveling to was not huntable. 15 minutes later, I spotted a young coyote strolling at 350 yards directly south of me. I gave this young whelp a pass knowing that the feeder would be going off at 10 p.m. hoping to shoot a hog. At 10.10 p.m., I spotted a solo boar at the exact same spot I shot my last hog at just over 400 yards. I worked in with 175 to 200 yards. When I booted up the thermal, the horses showed up and chased my solo boar away. 45 minutes later, I saw a bigger coyote working the back property line. I yelped at it quite a few times at over 375 yards and the wind in my face. He did not even respond. The bigger issue was I was not going to launch a bullet in the direction of these horses. This picture is a little fuzzy, but this is at four times digital zoom at an extended range. Plus, the horses were sucking up a lot of the thermal heat, pixelating the moving coyote. Around midnight, I thought I saw another coyote in our pond, but once it popped its head up, I realized this guy would get a pass. Comment below on what you think this critter was. I am less than 50 yards from this bugger. Finally, around 12.15, every deer in the surrounding area decided to visit our pasture. What is interesting is not one deer visited the feeder. Acorns are still thick. Before packing up, I caught a quick image of this critter running in the field. Again, comment below on what you think this is. I've got one more hunt with the Pulsar Thermion XP50 before I have to return it to Night Vision Outfitter. Hopefully I can get a critter down in the dirt to cooperate. I will do a full review of this Pulsar Thermion XP50, so stay tuned for my next adventure where you will have an opportunity to win some factory ammo for your 6.5 Creedmoor.